In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sirka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sirka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Tea? Oh, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec, and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Let's have a look. That's quite nice. Soothing. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Please enjoy your stay. Remember all the garbage must be packed out and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. Sean has been busy. Hello, Layla. Sean, what do you make of the grave out there? Well, it overturns a few hundred years of scholarship about the first Europeans to set foot in North America. Apart from that, it's just a bunch of muddy bones, isn't it? Can we talk about this thing on my neck for a second? Ah, the mood stabilizer. 
Yes. It's not harmful, is it? I mean, I feel good, but I want to make sure there's no side effects. There shouldn't be. It's only blocking outside signals, a passive effect. So the staff doesn't, you know. Sean, what happened last year, I... I understand. And still, if you want to work with us and get to the bottom of why the world is about to end for the second time in eight years, then you wear that thing until we say otherwise. I know. It's just a few... You're right. Feeling okay? Better. I can't promise it won't... It felt like... Right. There's something... Could it be the staff? Interfering? How do you mean? My headaches. My temper. They started the... I hope you're not making excuses. Jesus, no. Sorry. Just... I'm trying. I really... Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear... Okay. I don't mean... That message led us here. To th so those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this place. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all from another death. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay. Here we go. 